San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Bowser Max. You did it, somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. with all the other winners. I should say artists instead.
I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh shit. Pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. I know it's kind of simple, but... So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all, me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson, and he even brought him to Blackwell. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping parle. this is a fresh Vous savez quoi depuis tout à l'heure je parle en vrai. Like said, Sauf que je suis désolé en gros vous aurez rien du tout avant. Oh, je suis désolé les gens. J'avais pas vu qu'il était fermé. Oh, je suis vraiment désolé. Ok. Bon, c'est pas grave au montage, je, je vous aurais dit avant juste que j'ai eu un petit souci et du coup voilà. Ah, j'ai zappé, genre j'avais pas vu qu'il y avait ça. Enfin bref. Du coup, je disais, ouais. Euh... Voilà quoi. Elle est forte et tout. Je sais plus ce que je disais en fait. Que ta mère. Euh, journal. Ça va être encore le truc que... and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. Allez. Bonjour. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. Merci, c'est gentil. Mais on s'en bat les steaks. Mais on s'en fout. Euh, je peux même pas courir. Il oh. y a... Avec quelqu'un ici. Oh, trop bien. Bon, en fait, ok, il s'en va les steaks. Le mec, il nous fait une critique, tu sais. Genre, tu comprends pas. Hein. Pardon, je veux pas voulu faire ça. Ok. Magnifique. Le mec il aime bien voir les trucs de lesbiennes. Well, I have to say, 
This is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Ouais, tu es un petit pervers, non un peu. How much would you pay for that? Oh, c'est mignon. Bon, elle est où ma, ma mon truc? Salut toi. Um, excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. Non, mais je sais même pas où elle est, ma photo, please. D'accord, ok. C'est cool. Journaliste. Salut. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Ils vont tous me donner leur carte. Ah, mais elle est là, ma photo, j'avais pas vu. Oh, magnifique. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. What? C'est le bordel. Non, elle a rend un cauchemar. Chloe. Hey, are you okay? We lost you there for a second. I'm okay. Jet lag. High altitude. Ah merde. The ringer off, idiot. To kill? Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man, your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado, it's coming. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe, I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? What the fuck? No. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Je peux pas prendre son appareil photo en photo. Ça commente. Bon, je me casse, hein, écoute. <rire> Est-ce que je peux me casser, genre No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. Putain, je peux pas. Euh, faut que j'aille... Faut que j'aille voir l'autre con, là. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so... Attends, on va aller voir lui, là. Monsieur, il y a un souci. Putain, mais qu'est-ce que vous voulez que je fasse je vais pas, je vais pas aller re là. <rire> je vais que faire des erreurs. J'en veux plus de ma vie. Mais je vais faire que ça. Ok. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but ils vont me faire chier, je pourrais pas. Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. C'est bon. Oh, my head. 
Tu peux pas remonter le temps indéfiniment, meuf. I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Oh, mais ça va recommencer du début. San Francisco. Chloe comes first. C'est n'importe quoi. Et c'est reparti C'est reparti, c'est reparti Au pire, on s'en fout de Chloé, putain On n'arrête pas de la sauver depuis tout à l'heure, enfin... C'est bon, quoi... C'est Chloé qui gâche tout, en vrai. Oh, fuck On va arrêter cet épisode-là. Vous voyez ma tête, genre ma tête va se décomposer dans pas longtemps. En vrai, je comprends pas, genre... De toute façon, là, on le voit. Là, c'est vrai. Genre, Chloé va mourir d'un moyen ou l'autre. Genre, je peux, je peux changer n'importe n'importe quelle réalité. Elle va mourir. Elle meurt, putain. Elle va mourir. Faut qu'elle meure. <rire> Sérieusement, je l'aime bien, Chloé, mais c'est sa destinée. Faut qu'elle meure. Faut qu'elle meure jeune. J'en sais rien, moi. Euh... Putain. Là, je suis en train de me gâcher la vie pour rien parce qu'à chaque fois, elle va mourir. J'en ai marre, j'en ai marre, j'en ai marre. Vous pouvez pas savoir à quel point ça m'énerve. Bon. Du coup, on va arrêter cet épisode-là. Moi, je continuerai, du coup, mais vous verrez euh, lundi ou vendredi. Donc, voilà. Donc, j'espère que cette vidéo vous aura plu. Je suis en train de réellement péter un câble. Mon cerveau ne marche plus, voilà. Il ne marche plus. Donc, voilà. Donc, d'ici là, prenez soin de vous. Bye bye